Welcome to Biz Coach and Coffee, where our guests are experts, entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants that share tips, strategies, and tactics to help small business entrepreneurs grow their business for long term success. Please welcome your host, Biz Coach Steve Feld. Hello and welcome to Biz Coach and Coffee. I'm your host, Biz Coach Steve Feld. And my goal is to stop business owners from suffering entrepreneurial depression and start making running their businesses much easier. Business owners and entrepreneurs hire me to crack multiple six and even seven figures without burning themselves out. Today, we have another great guest for you today. I mean, we have Jay Becker. Now, you're gonna, it's a little different than most of our guests. Jay is in cryptocurrency. He's a leading authority for helping service professionals integrate cryptocurrency. So that's why I thought he'd be fantastic to talk to you today about it. So please welcome Jay. How are you doing? Hey, thanks for having me on, Steve. It's great to be here. Great. Cryptocurrency. This is a big, like, nebulous thing, and I know you hear it all the time, and I know yep. we've talked about it. When people say cryptocurrency, they go, uh, and then you start throwing in blockchain and uh, ledger and nfts and yeah you know, smokes pouring out people's ears yeah no I, 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 exactly. <laughs> first tell us you know how did you get started in the crypto world yeah yeah so i um i i was like i think a lot of people when i first heard about cryptocurrency i was like there's no way this is a real this is can't be legit it's magic internet money it's making my computer parts more expensive like i just i just was not a fan for the longest time um and what really flipped the switch for me was a couple things was first of all because I, I have a technical background so i was able to pour through the white papers and really understand how this thing works but i think that a lot of people in my space like to focus on that but i don't think that's really the the driving factor of why this is so revolutionary and, and the real reason why is more of like an economics monetary space um and once you really understand the fundamentals of like oh hey this this is a limited supply currency no one nothing anyone can really do can change that and as a result, it is a thousand times more stable than the U.S. dollar or any of the other alternatives. And then, and yeah, on top of that, the fact that it's borderless payments. So, you know, sending a, a thousand or million dollars around the world in 10 minutes is, you know, you can't do that, right? Or, um, you know, there, there are so many incredible um, that I'm not going to go into right now, uh, but that, that's really kind of what flipped the switch for me. Um, got me really interested into it. Gotcha. And then what kind of people do you help? Who do you serve? Yeah. So typically we work with uh, business owners who kind of, um, you know, they hear about cryptocurrency. They're, they're kind of interested. They probably own a little bit of it. Um, and what we do is we come in and we can make it so that they can actually run part of their business off of cryptocurrency. Mm. So that means that they can accept it as a form of payment. They can store it safely and securely. Um, and which is a big thing that a lot of people don't realize that they, they need to do. Um, and then also be able to spend it, right? Especially if, you know, you got an overseas team, you know, being able to pay part of their salary in Bitcoin can make a whole lot of sense sometimes. Um, so it, and it honestly goes from there. Um, a lot of stuff we do is custom. So, uh, for example, we're working with a course platform they're going to be rolling out soon. Um, and that, that's different because, you know, you've got students that, you know, uh, pay in cryptocurrency, then how do the instructors get it? You know, there's, so it's just, it really depends on the business. But yeah, that's great. Because I know more and more businesses are now taking crypto in many yeah. different forms. Yeah. And I, I've talked to many different business owners and I hear everything from like, you know, well, maybe I should do NFTs in my business. And it's like, mm, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the uses for, for NFTs, they do exist, but I think, I, I, I think they, they, they get overhyped in, in some, in a lot of ways. We should define that non-fungible. Uh, yeah. So, sorry, here, here's how you can understand a receipt, uh, an NFT. It's just a fancy receipt. It's a fancy permanent digital receipt. All right. Right now, people are just tying them to pictures and JPEGs, which I'm 
I guess okay. But the real exciting thing is that you can tie other things to it. Like you could tie legal contracts to an NFT and then you have a permanent record of that contract. And you can tie NFTs to, you know, property or you can tie NFTs to, like there's so many things. Right now people are just focusing on pictures because that's the easiest thing. But again, that, yeah. I think the NBA was like the first major organization to jump all over NFTs like two years ago because they're selling a frame from a game. <laughs> so just think of that. How much footage that they have is, and I mean, God knows how much. So they're yeah. selling NFT per frame, which is amazing. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's the Wild West out there it for is. sure. But we're going to talk about more of the crypto side because more and more businesses are, are accepting it. You're helping them get that so they can accept it and have it obviously pay out of that. Yeah. And what's one of their biggest fears when they say, oh, my God, I'm going to start accepting crypto? The, a big fear that I come across is the volatility where it's like, oh, you know, and I'll, I'll clarify. So um, we specifically focus on Bitcoin. Um, there's a lot of other coins. Um, but Bitcoin, most people know, most people use, it has the most adoption, all that stuff, right? So when I say cryptocurrency, I specifically mean Bitcoin, um, though that does include others. All right, so um, a big fear is that, you know, like I've woken up uh, and looked at my portfolio and it had dropped by 50% in a day, you know, like that That has stuff happens. And I'm used to it. I've been in the game for a while. So for me, it's I just laugh and I just move on, right? Um, but if you're used to a more traditional way of doing things, that's that that's huge. Um, but here's the cool thing, okay? If you accept cryptocurrency as a form of payment, if the price goes up, that means more people are going to go to cash out. We're going to want to sell and sell using buying goods and services is a lot better option than having just exchange into pure cash, right? So that's awesome, right? If it goes down, that just means you make more Bitcoin per purchase, all right? So, uh, you know, for example, right now, Bitcoin's trading around $20,000. Um, at its peak, it was $60,000. Well, now you get three times more Bitcoin than you did at the start. The only way you can really lose is taking a transaction that you made, you know, up, up when it was high and then selling it when it's low. Um, but that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, like a huge, like, block, it's like the stock market. market. Yeah. Um, but of course, the and, and that's why we make sure that the people we work with understand that, hey, this is a long term play. This is like, I'm going to keep 10 percent of this for like the next year or so. Um, and because if that's your your mindset, uh, then it holds up with a whole range of possibilities. Absolutely. And you kind of educate your clients on the different forms, which Bitcoin or which currency to like play in? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, we Got don't, we don't, we don't dabble in financial advice because that that's just not. We're, we're just, we're just, we're a lowly IT company. Essentially, is what we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, we we definitely help. We, we're more on like the the technical aspect. So it's like okay. Um, here's a lot of what we focus on. I know this is a bit of a buzzword, but self-hosted software. So you know you have. Uh, a lot of software we use like Calendly or Zoom or a lot of this stuff, it's all hosted on the cloud somewhere. And that's great for most things. But when you're dealing with money and your money specifically, you don't want that. That's like an extra, um, having a third party requires an extra layer of trust. Yeah. Um, and so when you make it self-hosted, that's now on your hardware, you own complete control of it. And that's been incredibly important with the uh, cryptocurrency revolution. But anyways, yeah, that's... Well, great. We're going to take a quick break and get a word from our sponsor, but we'll be right back with Jay, and we're going to talk more about cryptocurrency and your business. This episode is sponsored by Spotlight Books. Get your expert book completed in 30 days. If you don't have an expert, lead magnet book about you and how you serve your market, then visit www.spotlight-books.com. Link is also in the show notes. Put a spotlight on your expertise. And we're back with Jay talking about cryptocurrency. Now, do you think, in your opinion, do you think cryptocurrency payments to businesses is going to start moving, you know, taking more away from the fiat? Um, ideally, yes. Um, <laughs> our, like, the, the goal and, and the beauty about cryptocurrency is that 
it's just a, such a it's a much superior form of currency. Like uh, it's permissionless. So you know, it, which means that when I send cryptocurrency and Bitcoin to you, no one can stop it aside from turning off my internet and strapping me into my chair. That's awesome, right? The fact that no one has the ability to press a button and create you know trillions of more bitcoins, which is what we see with you know all other fiat currencies. Um, and and so like over time the best currency typically wins over the poor currency and so i think it's just a matter of time before um before we see much larger and larger adoption as and as you know inflation gets worse and as you know um the currency that we use day to day becomes a lot worse i mean using fiat right now is kind of like strapping a bomb to your chest and giving you your, the detonator to a random person in the crowd right because you're yeah. essentially saying hey um I'm using this money where the value of this money can be practically d decreased just by somebody I've never met. I, I I have no clue who they are, and they can just make more money and devalue my money. You know, like that's pretty crazy when you think about it. And so I think uh, I think I think it's I'm not going to say it's inevitable. Uh, there's a lot of hard work and there's a lot of stuff that needs to be in place. But I think I think that's the way that things are trending. Wait, now does. Does it matter what size the business is or where they're um, at? Yeah, so right now we're still we're still on the cusp. So typically a good business to internet cryptocurrency is one that's already established, that's already has um, it already has like a, a working business model. And then cryptocurrency is a great way to, you know, attract a whole new customer base to, you know, all these other things, right? Um, and I mean I love to live in the world where you know you can just start from day one. I mean, that's what we did, but that's we can kind of do that because that's our whole thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you're selling, you know, if you're selling goods on, you know, drop shipping goods off Amazon, um, you know, it, it might uh, you you might want to be a little bit more established. Um, well, let me ask. I mean, what is one of one tip that you learn? Well, probably the hard way <laughs> in your business while you're growing. Um. I don't know if this is business related, but this is definitely cryptocurrency related. When you're testing out a new system or you're, you're trading currency for the first time or whatever it is, always send a small amount, you know, always just work with like, you know, a penny or like a dollar's worth of cryptocurrency and then like send it through the whole system, whether you're using mixers or you're, you're just trading it on, you know, different exchanges. Um, because I have definitely sent money into the, the void, the, ne the, ne <laughs> the empty void of the blockchain and never to be seen again because I just, you know, and so, yeah, always, always test out your, if you're ever, were you getting into it, especially if you're new, just test out your transactions with a small amount of cryptocurrency. Then, then once that works, then the rest. Yeah, I think we talked about it too. It's like I sent a very small amount just to open up the wallet, just to make sure yeah. if I lost that, it's gonna be okay. And then once right. it worked, sent a little bit more. Okay, now it's good. And then I put the rest into the wallet. Yes, yes. No, that, that's that's a good way to approach it. And it kind of got me through that. And then. What do you see when the business owners, you know, they're bringing in crypto. Now, does it need to be maintained by someone or is that something that they can keep an eye on? Yeah. So, um, again, that really depends. Um, but for most business owners, um, there's going to need to be a couple things, right? There's going to be, all right, how do you take it in, right? And that's where we would come in with um, some of our, our payment processors that we use. Uh, all self-hosted, so it's running on their hardware, they own, they own, they control it. All right, so once that comes in there, then it's about like, okay, how can I store this? And that's pretty hands-off. Um, once you, and again, we, we recommend you wash them, which just means you, you, you store it privately, essentially. Um, and once you do that, and they're sitting in a wallet, you don't really need to touch them. You don't really need to do them. I mean, that, that's the beauty, right? How many things in your business make, can increase your profit margins by doing absolutely nothing? Uh, well, Bitcoin enables you to do that because if you hold some of it on your balance sheet for long enough, it's going to increase in value, you know? Um, and so, uh, and then the other section is like, okay, how are we going to use this? And so for storing it, that's pretty low to no maintenance. For accepting it, that's a little bit more higher maintenance typically because um, there's just more parts and more things can go wrong and there's updates and um, and then how do you send it off? Um, again, it really just depends uh, on what you're buying and what you're doing. Um, but most of the time, again, that's, that's pretty straightforward. 
what is one thing you would tell someone when they come to you and say, hey, I want to take crypto? Um, well, I think I think the, the first thing I, I would I'm always interested in is why, you know, like um, I want to I want to dig in is, you know, is this is this like a, a passing thing of like, oh, crypto is popular. I want to accept cryptocurrency. And hey, that's awesome. I'm never going to say no to crypto adoption. But I think there's some there's some other products that would do probably serve you better uh, but if you really believe in it and you believe in the vision and you believe in you know where it's going and when when to treat this as an actual currency then yeah let's have a conversation so that that's typically what i want to know is what why are you interested in this that's a good point because i hear business owners saying well i'd love to take crypto and it's like why yeah well everyone else is doing it everyone <laughs> <laughs> not I mean, everyone but, well, yeah. there, there's some great, and it's for, you, for your listeners too, who are like kind of in that mindset. There are some payment plot current not, payment processors that will immediately flip that into cash. So if you don't want to hold any currency on your hands and you just want the option to take, you know, cryptocurrency, um, then uh, like I think one that's popping into my mind is Now Payments, um, where they have the ability for you to just immediately change that Bitcoin into fiat. So you get the advantage of saying, hey, I accept cryptocurrency and I actually have to hold on if that's not something you'd want to do. Um, yeah, you might want to talk, talk to your CPA about how that impacts your taxes. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the taxes are the other, yeah. the, the but you're other right. piece of I the think that's a concern is like, I get all this crypto in, but I want it to turn it to cash. Yeah. So you just answered that. That's a great one. Yeah. Great. Well, we're always giving away something to our listeners to help them grow their businesses. What is something that you can give them to help them talk about cryptocurrency and get them yeah. a little education on it? So I, I host a class every pretty much every Friday. Um, that's going to change moving in the future. But uh, essentially what it is, is just an opportunity because I meet people all throughout the week who are kind of like interested in cryptocurrency, but they don't really want to like have to read all the white papers and get all the technical nitty gritties. And so I, I host this class just as an opportunity just to sit down and explain, hey, you know, this here are some basics of how this stuff works. Here's how you can use in your business. Here's how you can actually move the needle. Because um, at the end of the day, if it doesn't move the needle, then there's no point, right? Um, and so uh, that's that's what we do. And honestly, if, you, if you're curious, if you just want to, just want to know more and it's about an hour and we just go through it all and answer any questions you got so yeah makes it easy and then we'll have that link in the show notes so please make sure you take care take advantage of jay's offer because as much as i've been learning about crypto and then i've talked to jay about it and it's like okay you just expanded my knowledge even more every time we talk and i'm glad and i know last year i was thinking about okay i should bring crypto into my business and then my coach said the famous question, you know, why? Yeah. And I'm like, well, because, and everything I said, they're like, yeah, you're not there. No. Now companies like Tesla, yeah, they're ready for that. Yeah. They got that down. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it depends on marketing segments and yeah, um, who you want to reach and all, all, all that fun stuff. Um, Absolutely. It's yeah. more than just saying, I want to take that type of currency. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it can be with again with with the right exchanges, but it, again, yeah, the, the the people we we work best with is like, okay, I'm serious about this. Let's go deep, yeah. and we can go deep. <laughs> well, great. Any final thoughts telling our listeners, you know, about cryptocurrency and business? Um, I think I think uh, like uh, just take the opportunity and just learn about it. You know, um, if that's if that's one thing I could leave you with is if you're on the fence, if you're, you know, you're just kind of new, you hear about the buzzwords everywhere, um, just do some research, do some basic. I'm, I'm not saying you you got to be go to my level or anything, um, but this is a this is an important technology that will. Um, it's it's essentially the, the next version of the internet. People people call it Web 3.0. I don't like that as a, because it's a meaningless buzzword to me. But in a lot of ways, it's yeah, it's it's incredibly powerful. So take some time, 15, 20 minutes. I don't care. Just learn about this stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And when people say the Web 3.0, it's more than what they're saying. Yeah. It's, well, it's so poorly defined too. Like that's the yeah. other reason why I don't like using that word. It's like. 
<laughs> if you, yeah. And anyways, that's, I, that's, that's, a, totally that's another podcast that entirely. <laughs> yeah, we could talk about 3.0 all day. But I want to say thank you very much, Jay, for coming on the show and educating us about cryptocurrency and business. Thanks for having me on. This was awesome. All right, folks, make sure you take advantage of Jay's offer. Please make sure you like and subscribe our podcast so you can hear experts like Jay and many others to help you grow your business. This is Biz Coach Steve Feld wishing you and your business much success. We hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you'd like to discuss how you can apply these strategies in your business, let us know. This episode is sponsored by Spotlight Books. Get your own expert book written about you in 30 days. Set yourself apart from the competition. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to give us your comments. We look forward to hearing from you on Biz Coach and Coffee.